I tell you what, every time I do a back workout at home and use resistance bands, I am pleasantly surprised at how effective they are at getting a good workout. March 11, 2021, morning weight check, 178.8. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. I would like for you to join me today for my home back workout. My home back workout today is going to be a lighter back session. My previous back session was fairly heavy, included heavy barbell rows. Today it's going to be a little bit lighter. Um, I'm going to do 80 pull-ups in sets of 10, so 8 sets of 10 to get to a total of 80 pull-ups. And I'm going to follow that right up after having pre-fatigued the back really well with 6 sets of resistance bands back work. It's going to be 3 sets of standing rows and three sets of seated lat pulls. Now, I want to apologize. I pre-recorded this already. Turns out my microphone failed me, so I'm gonna to have to do a voiceover of this entire workout. I do apologize, but stick with me. It's too good of a workout not to watch. So, let's get to it, and then I'll check back in at the end for a wrap up. Okay, so today's back workout started with pull-ups. 80 cumulative pull-ups done in eight sets of 10. Now, I wanted to make sure I got a pretty good amount of work done here, so I didn't rest that much between sets. I rested 60 seconds between sets, and by the eighth, ninth, 10th set, it was getting difficult. 79 and 80 was tough, but that was a good back workout start right there. And immediately after those pull-ups, I did three sets of standing rows using resistance bands with handles. And what I do, I start with my hands, palms facing one another. And as I do the row, I'll rotate my palms up 45 degrees, as you see there. And I did these for 10 to 12 reps, with the last rep being near failure. I want to make sure I'm starting with a nice starting resistance on the band, so I back up enough to get a nice, a nice starting resistance where there's no slack. I create a nice stable position by putting one leg in front of me. That gives me a nice position from which to pull. And I want to make sure when I'm doing these, I'm pulling back with my elbows and focusing the work and the contraction on those muscles from the mid-back to the upper back, generally around the shoulder blades. And again, we want to do three sets of these in of 10 to 12 reps, with the last rep being near failure. Time under tension with resistance bands is the secret, in my opinion. So we want to get some nice contraction right there. Nice work. Okay, we're going to finish up today's home back workout with three sets of seated lat pulls. Want to make sure we hit the entirety of the back, and I believe these seated lat pulls with resistance bands will focus on the lower back and the lats. Again, I set myself up where I have a nice little starting resistance on the bands, no slack, and I've got my feet in front of me creating a nice stable base, a nice solid base from which to pull. And here what I want to focus on is hitting the lower to mid back. I, I want to get some lat in this as well. Almost like you're doing a dumbbell row or a seated lat pull with uh, cables. It uh, doesn't look like I, I did this as well as I think, but what you want to focus on is keeping your elbows close to your body and pulling back with your elbows. And as always, we want to focus on keeping time under tension with these resistance bands and focusing on a contraction right here at the end of the movement. And I have to repeat myself here. I'm, I'm surprised at how well this works. I'm, uh, by, the end, by the end of the third set here, I was pretty spent. My back was, was worked out for a home workout with pull-ups and resistance bands, this 
was outstanding and I was completely happy with it. Well, there you have it. My home back workout lighter version. Um, I do apologize for the sound and the voiceover, but <laughs> that workout was too hard to have to go back and re-record again. And it was a good workout. I want to make sure I got that out there and show you what I did to show you what I did. Uh, on the face of it, it doesn't seem like that much of a workout, but a total cumulative uh, 80 pull-up session in 10 sets pre-fatigues the back quite a bit and constitutes a back workout in and of itself, in my opinion. If you follow that up with the six sets of resistance band movements that I showed you, you have a really comprehensive at-home back workout. Now, I would love for you guys to offer your suggestions about what you do for back workouts. Home back workouts to me are a little bit challenging. If you don't have a pull-up bar, even more so, so I encourage you to get a home pull-up bar. Fairly inexpensive piece of equipment, and it's worth its weight in gold. Uh, again, so if you have any ideas, uh, these are just what I did today. My, my back workouts at home vary quite a bit. But uh, I think this was a good one. So send us your suggestions, and that would be very, very much appreciated. You guys have some really great ideas. Um, and if you would, if you're this far into the video, um, please give me a like button. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. I would love to have you here amongst the gang. And if you have already, thank you so much. And as always, Till next time, go get them. Mark out.